Hi guys, today on Divas Can Cook, we are making one of my favorite childhood soups ever. I used to love when my grandmother made this soup, old fashioned beef and macaroni soup. So good you guys, and of course it is so easy to make, so let's go. Okay, so the first step, we're gonna add our olive oil into our pot. Just go ahead and dump it in. You really don't need a lot of olive oil. When it's nice and heated up, go ahead and add in your diced onions. Dump them right on in. We're gonna cook these onions until they are nice and translucent and stuff. And then we're gonna add in our garlic. I like a lots of garlic in this soup. It's so good, lots of garlic. And you can throw in some celery, whatever, but you know, I like to keep it really, really simple because that's how I had it growing up. You know, it was poor man's soup. It's what we called it growing up, poor man's soup okay I'm gonna add in my ground beef here you can use ground turkey if that's your thing normally I do use ground turkey but you know I wanted to keep it as classic as possible okay now I'm gonna add in some salt go easy on this salt because we're also gonna add in some broth and stuff and that's already salty so yeah you can actually skip adding that salt to your ground beef if you want to add some pepper in there as well we're gonna cook this until it is done 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 and then we're gonna drain off that extra fat because we don't need it in our soup okay Okay, now I'm going to add in my beef broth, beef, oh my gosh, beef, why am I saying beef? It's like beef broth, oh gosh, okay, so there's my beef broth, and then we're going to add in some um, diced tomatoes, I'm using the garlic basil kind, they're so good, then we're going to add in my tomato sauce, if you have some from scratch homemade tomato sauce, whatever, go ahead and use that, but you know, can't, will work just fine, honey. All right, so now we're gonna stir this up and now time for the spices, my favorite part, I love spices, I don't know why, I just love seasoning things up. Okay, so I have some bay leaf, brown sugar, some thyme, oregano, all kind of yumminess is going into the soup, you guys, all right? Now, here comes the most important part. You have to taste it and adjust the seasonings to your taste buds. Add more brown sugar, add more thyme, just get it to where it is tasting the bomb digga tea. And then you can put your little lid on it. We're gonna let this, where's the lid? Where's the lid, girl? Okay, there it is. Put that lid on, we're gonna let it simmer away. And while it's simmering, we're gonna, why it is simmering away okay i should do that part over but i hate doing my voiceovers over so i kind of just you know go with it while it's simmering i'm gonna cook my macaroni okay now i don't cook my macaroni inside of my um tomato sauce because i don't like the texture i always do it separately okay yeah mm -mm. okay so once i have drained off my pasta i'm gonna add it into my soup just like this right here and then guess what you guys we are like done this soup is so easy to make, perfect for those snowy, rainy days, and it feeds a crowd like a boss, all right? It is so good and comforting and cozy, and it really is hearty. You wouldn't think like, okay, what is just tomatoes, beef, and like, what? How's that going to be feeling? But it is so filling. My kids love it. And I hope that you will love it too if you make it, you know? Okay, so when you go to serve it, you have to promise me you will put on lots and lots of shredded cheese, honey, because that cheese, oh my God. What? It just like takes it to the next level. Mm -hmm. It does. Go ahead and get you some cornbread or some saltine crackers. I put some parsley on to make it look all pretty. And then, oh, look, y'all. What? Oh, my gosh. Just give me a good movie and a cozy blanket. Oh, my gosh. And I'm in heaven. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. New videos every Thursday and Sunday. Yeah, I'm back on my Thursday and Sunday schedule. I know I stray, but I always come back, all right? And don't forget to hit that notification button so you'll know when I post a video, all right? later.